you'll see in this interview, um, my neck is all like swollen and stuff. You know, I shaved and um, I don't know, for a few days my neck was all swollen. It was weird looking. Uh, I got some tests done, waiting to see the results, but um, my neck is better. Now it's just the fat, not the swollen fat. So here we go. Hello, welcome to Metal Health. I'm Robbie Stevenson, and today uh, we've got a special one. Uh, these guys are signed to Metal Blade. Uh, the band is Portrait, and we're here with uh, the guitarist, Christian uh, Lindell. Is that correct? Yes, it's very correct. Thank uh -huh. you. Uh, great to be here with you. Well, I'm, I'm just, it's a pleasure, right? Um, yeah. Uh, this is one of those interviews that I, I get through a third party, because I'm pretty new to this, right? Um, I, uh, I work with a, a VJ from Much Music, which was Canada's MTV, uh, you know, playing music videos back in the day. And recently he yeah. started up a new music video channel called uh, New Music Nation. And I'm the metal VJ for that. And so between metal health and that, I get to do third party interviews like this, which. Okay, is, cool. Yeah. Sounds great. great. Because like usually yeah. I just uh, ask people on their social media and they say yes. So these ones I'm always a little bit scared because you're doing it because someone in the record label told you to do it when the other ones, you know, it's because they're like, okay, yeah, let's do an interview, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, we still have the possibility to say no to things, you know. So uh, uh, there are some, uh, we, we can sort things out <laughs> also, you know. So, uh, uh, no problem. Looking oh, forward great. to it. Uh, so, yeah, you're signed with Metal Blade uh, now. How, how are you liking them? Uh, they're very good. I mean, classic uh, label, of course. Very um, true. But not all uh, the classic ones are uh, good. Some can be a real headache. Yeah, of course. Um, that's true also. But... Um, I mean, for our part, we've been signed with Metal Blade now for, I think, 10 years or a bit more. It's uh, our fourth album. Uh, our initial contract was for three albums. So we signed a new contract now for this album and for two, two more albums, I think. So, oh, uh, I mean, great. we are satisfied yeah. with them and they are obviously satisfied with us as well. well so uh, it's all good, you know. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, yeah, because I know sometimes record labels aren't always as fun as they they uh, you, you you'd think they'd be. Right. Yeah, but um, we're, we're here today to talk about the new album. It comes out September third, right? Yep. All right. Yes. It's uh, it's called uh, At One with None. Yes. Yeah. It so, uh, what was what was the recording like for this one, and uh, what how do you feel about this album? Because I, I I've got to listen to it, you know. Because uh, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. So ah, great, great to hear. Uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, we've been the um, we've been in the writing process for quite a while, actually. Uh, we felt very inspired when we started writing new material in back in I think it was 2018 or 2019. And we just kept going. So actually, we recorded 11 songs, uh, of which eight ended up on the album. And uh, there would be two bonus tracks in the box edition. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, we uh, we just uh, go with the inspirational flow, you know. And um, we don't think too much uh, about things it needs to come naturally when it comes to the songwriting and uh, it still does uh, and I'm happy about that and uh, I think we have succeeded with keeping the original portrait essence and our unique sound that we have developed over the years uh, without repeating ourselves and that is uh, a, an accomplishment that I'm very proud of uh, and the recordings, um, uh, we recorded in a local studio called JFK Studios here in uh, southern part of Sweden. And it was mixed by uh, Tommy Hansen, who have done some uh, classic uh, Halloween albums and so on. 
uh, I'm very satisfied with how the uh, how the production and everything turned out in the end. It um, yeah, we've taken things both musically and production wise one step further in the right direction. I think with this album. So uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. That's great. Um, uh, one of the bigger interviews that I've done recently was with Thomas from At the Gates, another Swedish fellow, you know, and yeah. um, uh, he was talking about how uh, like uh, making the albums different but still sounding like At the Gates, and uh, yeah, I mm-hmm. think that's what the band what bands are really trying to do, right? And yeah, uh, uh, I, I just think it's really cool the whole process and uh, of of bringing in new things but still making it make sure you know, like, hey, this is Portrait. Yeah. 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 Um, but um, anyways, uh, I've got I've got to talk to any of my fans that are uh, watching right now. Uh, yes, I shaved my beard because I had to get a real job because I moved to Ottawa. And now I've got like a turkey gizzard going on here. You know, like, you know the turkey gizzard. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I guess your fans will be pleased. Well, um, I'm not pleased, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, you've got to do... Got to bend over for the boss. Yeah, 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 right? I, yeah, uh, right? Um, yeah, and um, uh, maybe, like, if I come into a, uh, a room of a bunch of cannibals, they might mistake me for a turkey now. Yeah. So I, I could get away. Yeah, you're safe. Yeah. Have you ever had, uh, when did you ever, like, when was your last, like, real job? Or, like, not, not that, like, playing music and stuff isn't hard and it's not a job, but, like, it's awesome, though, right? So... Yeah, I mean, we uh, we still have the uh, day jobs, all of us in oh, the yeah? band, actually. So we, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we've all, yeah, most of the time at least, we've had uh, day jobs going on on the side, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, it work it works out. Uh, it's sometimes hard to um, yeah, keeping. I mean, we are at a level that is pretty. I don't know, uh, complicated. Uh, yeah. Things things take much time and much effort, but there's not so much money uh, involved in things, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but that is also a way to... Uh, you know that the uh, members of the band and the people that are into... Uh, that are involved in the band are doing it for the right reasons, you know? Because it's not an easy thing, you know? It's all... Uh, it's a lot of sacrifices. A labor uh, of love, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's hard to find uh, like a, a day job that'll be okay with you running off and uh, for for you like a few months or for me just like uh, if I've got a stand up comedy show that I gotta go to because I do I do I do stand up and um, okay yeah and uh, now with working with uh, New Music Nation uh, like there's mm-hmm. potential for me to get sent to some festivals and stuff like um. I was almost sent to uh, the Canadian Metal Festival that's happening in a few weeks, which is mm-hmm. loud as hell. And yeah. like, I, I really wish I could go, but um, it's just not in the funds because we just started up. So that's that's yeah. uh, it's too bad. And it's, uh, it's on the other side of the country too. Canada okay. is a big country. Yeah, 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 of course. I remember the first uh, day job that I got uh, right after I finished school. Uh and I was, they had this education for a couple of days and then the week afterwards I was supposed to start. And I had, the first thing I had to tell the boss was that I, after two days I needed to, I needed three days off because I was going to three Judas Priest concerts in a row <laughs> that same week. So yeah. uh, it's, uh, you need to, uh, you know, uh, show who's... Uh, Who's the real boss, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because a lot of times they just expect us to, like, to just obey them and basically be, like, slaves and just live around their schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I mean, that, that is the stuff. nature. That is the nature of the world, you know, the, yeah. the cause of suffering. <laughs> uh, also that we can uh, put, put on the uh, electricity and watch some TV and get dumb. Yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. So uh, that, that is how things roll, you know? That is how they put you in the wheel. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And in the cage. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, you've been, uh, uh, Portrait's been around for like 15 years now. That's 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 a long time. And uh, like, um, uh, do you have any other projects going on other than Portrait? 
as far as music goes? Uh, no, not really. Um, I've always had, you know, over the years, um, you know, most often in, you know, drunken settings with friends, you start a band, you know, every weekend. Uh, everything from like uh, Sodom, uh, Obsessed by Cruelty style bands and IDs and uh, to progressive rock like King Crimson and stuff like that. But it's never, really, I mean, I am, um, for my own part, I get, I feel that I can, all forms of musical expression that I want to uh, manifest, I can do within the realm of portraits. It's pretty wide. I mean, we can do aggressive stuff and epic stuff and atmospheric yeah, songs and all that without stretching it uh, too far. So yeah. Uh, yeah. for my part, I don't need anything else, really. I can do everything in portrait. I'd, I'd ask you to be in my band that I'm trying to work on, but I think you're too good because the band's going to be called Meaty Ochre. And then that way when okay. people are like, you suck. I'm like, no, we're mediocre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a pun. And, That's a good uh, one. I yeah, can tell right. you are a stand-up comedian. Yeah, and like the, the mascot is going to be a beaver. And he's like, in all the music videos, right. the beaver's just like chewing trees and building dams, right? Yeah. And like, I, okay. can, see, uh, I cool. can see the album cover right now. It's like like a beaver at, at, at the table with his, with his uh, family, and he's trying to eat like a steak, but it's, a, it's an oak wood yeah. steak, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. It's like, uh, you know, the, the British band uh, Holocaust. They get to play at every festival that they want because uh, because Holocaust denial is illegal, you know. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. So yeah, they get all the gigs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jokes. Oh, yeah. silly. But uh, actually, like, I was in a band for a small amount of time. It was called mm -hmm. Labeled. Because uh, everyone in the band is labeled with a mental illness between my okay. schizophrenia and everybody else, you know. So um, uh, uh, the the whole scheme was like when we did live shows, we didn't do any live shows, but we recorded a few songs. Um, was like they were gonna wear lab coats, and I was gonna be in my straight jacket. Yeah, because I was vocals. So okay, yeah, good. Yeah, right. And then sounds like a good uh, concept. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. You know, and then, then like, because I know how to, I can, I can go out from like this and like you pull around and over and then that's how you get loose in the straight jacket. So it, yeah, it would have yeah. been pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. But none of that has anything to do with portrait. So like, I don't know why we're so... Oh, maybe it's some uh, Alice Cooper uh, influences there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely in the live show. I, I don't know yeah. about the music, but definitely in the live show. Yeah. Yeah. Could work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it would be, be entertaining. All right. Um, yeah. So, um, so the new album's coming out in September, uh, At One With None. Um, is, there, is there anything you want to uh, uh, give a shout out to or anything before we get going here? Uh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Right. Um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, um, uh, the album title... Uh, we can speak about a bit. Um, it's um, uh, it's twofold in its uh, meaning. Uh, partly uh, the feeling of being a stranger in a strange land, uh, at one with none, and walking away from the uh, cruel aspects of society and uh, the things that you're forced to by authorities and such. And also... Uh, at one with none, it has a spiritual meaning uh, that in the end uh, you become as one with none or not, like in the primordial chaos before and beyond creation. So that is like the meaning of the album title. And it goes, uh, yeah, this concept is, uh, is present throughout all the lyrics and the uh, album cover artwork and so on. Uh, but from a bit you know, different uh, not perspectives, but yeah, different angles or whatever we call it. That's very cool. Yeah, like like the yeah. lone wolf that just knows it's gonna just die alone because it's a lone yeah. wolf and leave nothing yeah. behind. 
Yeah. That's what exactly. Metal. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thank you very much, Christian, for being on Metal Health. It was a real pleasure. Um, I, I, I was happy to talk to you. Yeah. Thank you, too. It was nice. This is the perfect analogy for mental health. All right? Boom. I fall. And then, like, the jogger comes up. Oh, oh, that happened. That happened right in front of me. Do I have to care? Looks around. Looks around. Do I have to care? Oh, there's no one around. Okay, I'll just keep going. <laughs>